basically done. What we did is if you look at that side, that's still the way GM made it. It has been modified, stock, the firewall where the mount is there. This is what we did to this side. We cut all that out. We also cut that, took that to the outside put the mount there and eat this stuff back or sub frame again. Get more clamps. Because there's no room back in there for the transmission or the exhaust. And you can see where we made that mount. That's the factory mount under there that was originally bolted to, but it's been moved out here. So you reinforce the frame. That way she's nice and solid. And someone asked what the subframe is out of. It's just out of like a Grand Prix. Can't remember what year, 98, 99, 2000, somewhere in there. When they got newer on these cars, they went to aluminum subframes. They don't have anything to weld aluminum with. Could convert my MIG over. But it'd be better if you had a TIG welder. So that's what the subframe is out of. And the plan is later today to cut this side out and make it look like that side. Put that support underneath the factory subframe. Give us more room. So it's going to have to be cut right in there. And this piece here will be moved over to there. And we'll make that box over there. And get rid of that give us more firewall clearance of course you can see the rack's gone we had to cut it out because it was too high with that morosa pan we bought should give us more clearance there's the rack over there we're like all we're gonna have to do is just cut it up a little higher get it to come down Get some extra clearance. There's some motor mounts he has. Not sure if those are gonna work like you want them. I have to modify them like everything else we did on this. Anyways, that's where we're at right now. Hopefully later today we'll have this taken care of or that taken care of and the subframe should be done. And it'll be on to the firewall too. After test fitting the motor and train easily, you can do that tunnel back in there. You can make a nice big round tunnel for clearance. Over here, some pieces and parts for doing that. Anyways, we're gaining on it. Alright, back working on the Monty. Got a little further on it last night. I'm going to show you the progress. Earlier really, I showed you this side, what we did, and last night, we did that side. We did the exact same thing we did on the driver's side to the passenger side. The only difference is you can see that chunk of metal sticking out there, that's the alignment hole. There's a subframe, so if you ever have it out, you can get it back in the way it was. There you can see exactly what we did move the mount out so we get more room in there, more tunnel room. Just make a lot more room for the transmission, the exhaust and all that stuff. Anyways, she's on the outside here. I thought that was a good idea to get all that stuff out and away for clearance issues. Just all the original stock Grand Prix subframe all boxed in. And next, we need to figure out the rack again. Which I'm pretty confident we shouldn't have any problems with that. And we'll be addressing the firewall. 
Really, that might need to be cut out clear up there. And the windshield wiper garbage is underneath there, so I'm not sure what the plan is there. Because last time we had the engine and the valve covers were hitting right there. Like I said earlier, too, the rack goes down, will give us more room. The oil pan you put on the engine should give us more room, too. All I gotta say about these cars, this is a, a retarded design. To push that over that way, when that sticks, it don't move. And why they didn't run this on the hood this way. So the latch would be that way, and then you could lift up on that. It would have been so much simpler and easier. To me, that latch is a fail. Right along with making all these cars front wheel drive. Not everybody wants a front wheel drive car, I don't. I don't own one, I don't plan on owning one either. Although I have had them, but they were just cars to fix and sell. Which they used to do a lot, but you can't do that no more. And the reason you can't do that no more is an iron price went high a few years back there. Everybody still thinks they're a pile of crap that needs an engine or a transmission or is rotted to hell. It's still worth a grand. In all reality, they're probably worth a couple hundred bucks for even that. Enough of me complaining and bitching. We're working on a Monty here. I'll show more when we get there. We'll get a view from the inside of what it looks like. There you can see there's plenty of Plenty of space in there for room. You have to dress the firewall, which I believe is going to have to come back. It's too far forward. But I told the owner we need to get a doghouse out of a van and put it in here so you have easy access to the engine. I don't know if we'll do that or not, but probably not. That's the view of the inside. Don't forget to subscribe and leave a thumbs up.